Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who were well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And we're going to go in the news, linking the things that are happening all around the world to the Holy Scriptures, right? Because everything that's happening all around the planet Earth, right before our eyes, is a result of biblical prophecy. As you can see here, thousands are lining up for Elon Musk's brain chip implants. This is the book of Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. All right, and we're living at a time, all right, of the last few prophecies coming to pass. Okay, the sealing of the elect. Okay, civil unrest. All right, the haragma being instituted which is the microchip, and World War III, which will lead to our deliverance. All right, World War III sparks off once the nukes are all flying over here to Babylon the Great. All right, that's when our Lord and Savior, all right, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah is going to return and deliver us. All right, but on the earth at that time, all right, it's going to be a chaotic environment pursuant to Habakkuk, the third chapter, um, and various other scriptures, um, which foretell everything that we're witnessing happen. All right, and right now, thousands are lining up for Elon Musk's, Musk's okay, which a uh, brother looked up the name Elon, and it was tied to an oak tree, which we were what? Forbidden from eating, all right, of the tree, all right, of uh, evil. And ultimately, these devils are coming with those same philosophies. But in this time, all right, they have more power. They have more technology. They have miracles. And ultimately, thousands are lining up for this because it's being presented. And it's going to be presented as some form of what? Savior. As some form of help. Right. That's ultimately how they're going to lock people into believing the agenda. All right. Because people are all messed up health wise. All right. People have various neurological conditions. And why is that? Why is cancer at an all time high? Why? Why? Why are, uh, you know, neurological conditions at an all time high? All right. Why are brain malfunctions and all of the various different ailments that the people have on the earth? Why are they here? Well, ultimately, it has to do with, first and foremost, the foods, the psych meds, what he puts in the water, what he puts in the air, all right? But the devil, all right, being as crafty as any of the beasts of the field, all right, as the scriptures say, the serpent, which when you deal with the serpent, let's get this real quick. We bring this out all the time, but uh, let's get Genesis to... The uh, third chapter. All right. Maybe some new listeners. And, you know, for years, the, the Christian church taught that the serpent was literally a snake. All right. First of all, it says now the serpent, Genesis 3 and 1, was more subtle than any of the beast of the field. A serpent isn't a beast. So this has to be symbolic. Okay. This has to be symbolic, man. He was more subtle, so he has the ability to present something to you in a sense as if it's uh, there to help you, as if it can liberate you, as if it offers you a better, you know, um, outcome than the outcome you already have. Take, for instance, the Native Americans who were over here in the Americas, the so-called Native Americans, all right, which, you know, really that's just the northern kingdom, but the tribe of Gad, you know, Reuben, Naphtali, you know, Issachar and so forth. When Esau came over here, they were drinking out of rivers. They knew how to live along the rivers and creeks 
to have free water that came naturally out of the earth. All right. And the devil came and presented them fire water in the form of alcohol. And ultimately, when you look at it, right, they were already chilling. Right. They were already, you know, living off the land. OK, you know, it wasn't a such thing as a common cold. All right. But the minute they started to drink that fire water. All right. Because what does the, the, the uh, book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, say real quick? Habakkuk chapter two. And 15, woe to him that giveth his neighbor drink. That puttest thy bottle to him and make it him drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Let's read this in the NLT. Because this is what he's 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 always done. And this is what he's doing to the people. Preparing you for mass enslavement. But he's presenting it. All right. In a sense of peace and safety. All right. A savior. Okay. That's what this new technology and everything he's presenting. All right. It's going to be presented as a as a as a safe haven from the chaotic hell that he presented that he created what sorrow awaits you who make your neighbors drunk you force your cup on them all right so you can gloat over their shameful nakedness all right and the native americans all right this is why anything anybody presents to you okay you 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 have to ask the questions is going to make all right my current situation better or worse and once the so-called Native Americans started to drink that fire water. They started to get drunk. Right. And they got addicted to it. They got hooked on it while Esau set back. And ultimately overcame them, took advantage of them. See, so the, the, the serpent has the ability to be very, very subtle. And when you look up the term serpent, because that old serpent is who's ruling the day. When you read the book of uh, Revelation, the 20th chapter, let's just type in old serpent. That's who's ruling the earth today. That very spirit that was in the serpent, which was a man, a nation of people that were on the earth. OK, at the time of Adam. OK. Revelation 12 and 9 in the great red dragon, which is what? All right. Rome and the revival of Rome was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which Thessalonians tells us what he who's coming is after the working of Satan. So the Bible must be put together in the spirit, which deceive it the whole world. He's deceived the old world, the whole world. And he's going to be cast out. He's being cast out by the word. But when Yahweh returns with, you know, Michael and the rest of the angels. All right. He's going to be cast out. All right. In a physical sense. All right. Right now, spiritually, we're destroying him by casting down the strongholds. All right. But he's going to be cast down. All right. As a nation. When Yahweh shall returns and then Revelation 20 and two. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years. OK. And ultimately, this is going into the history of what happened after the Western Roman Empire fell. The biblical Edomites, all right, were bound, all right, for a thousand years. That goes into the history of the Byzantine Empire, okay? And they weren't cast into a, a, a pit where there's, you know, unclean and wicked evil spirits called hell, the underground, the underworld. No, they were cast down on earth in a particular region known as Europe. And from there, they were what? Chased into the mountains, okay, and looked down upon. They were cavemen. That's where the term Caucasian comes from. But anyway, that old serpent. So the old serpent, the very spirit that was in this this uh, serpent. All right. That was in the garden on the earth at the time of Adam. All right. Amongst the other nations that was there. He was more subtle than any of the beast. All right. Uh, of the Lord. All right. Uh, which the Lord made. And he said unto the woman. Okay, Eve, symbolic of the church. Yea, hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. All right, and that was the order, not to eat of a particular tree. But here he comes, basically saying, well, 
you can technically eat this. It's not going to kill you. See? So basically, he was able to present something that was better than salva uh, better than the uh, the paradise that they had at that time. He was able to trick the woman, all right, and make her to believe that what he had to offer, not only it would, he said it wouldn't kill you, okay? Which, look at Jake taking on Esau's philosophies today. Hadn't it killed him? Hadn't it destroyed us? Okay, here it is. You get you got Jake fighting and marching at these alphabet right, you know, marches and rallies. But you have to ask yourself, fighting for this agenda, is this going to make our situation better? All right, or worse? As destroyed as we are, why are, are, are Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, fighting for all these agendas, fighting for democracy or Republicans and all of these various different things that have nothing to do with them choosing a side in the uh, Palestine-Israel conflict? You see, but Esau knows how to play on Jake's emotions. Now, the point here, uh, the word for serpent is nachash serpent snake all right when you get the root word all right it says to practice divination to observe signs all right a witch okay an enchanter to take as an omen all right to cast magic spells okay to prognosticate okay and when you get isaiah the 47 chapter which deals with the the uh, the daughter of babylon Isaiah 47, that was, uh, you know, some of the characteristics, all right? Isaiah 47 and 12, stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, all right? Which that's what this whole system is predicated upon. It's in the music, it's in commercials. Everything is an enchantment, the, the medicine, the food, okay? It's meant to undermine you. It's presented as one thing. All right, but the outcome leads to another thing, which ultimately gives them the power over you, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth since the garden. Okay, if so, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, thou mayest prevail. So he's prevailed through what? Lies, witchcraft, pseudoscience, all right, you know, uh, mind control and all these various different things. All right, now he's at the point where he has to forward his plan. And why is he forwarding this plan? Because ultimately it was written a four time. We just writ, uh, read. Let's go back here. All right. Behold, the former things, Isaiah 42 and 9, are come to pass. And new things do I declare. But before they come forth, I tell you of them. And the Lord told us of this wicked plan. All right. Before. All right. These days. Via. All right. Our forefather. All right, one of uh, the 12 disciples, John the Revelator, which was the last all right, disciple to be alive at this time because there was a heavy persecution all right, on the church. All right, the disciples had been beheaded. And here it is, the Lord had him as a slave serving his time on the Isle of Patmos, uh, a salt mine. And ultimately, the spirit of the Lord, you know, sent him this vision, which he wrote down. All right. And through the spirit of the Lord, we have it till this day. And look, look what he said, that this devil, OK, would eventually Revelation 13 and 16 calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark on their right hands or in their foreheads. Now, you have all of this, you know, uh, confusion in Israel about what this mark is. You know, which people say, well, why do y'all talk about the mark so much? Well, you know, as we just went over in the last class, the mark is a part of the new song. Warning against worshiping the beast, his image and his mark is a part of the new song. So the question is, why aren't you singing a new song? Because you guys will say the MOTB is this and that. All right. And in a sense, you kind of just undermine it as just something. Huh? It's in the Bible. No, that will be a hardcore stern warning against this device. Okay, and we've already showed you that the word mark is charagma or charagba. Okay, which is something physical. 
imprinted mark all right of the of the of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the anti-messiah and what he's going into all right what this goes into is an ancient custom all right of how you would uh make alliance to a particular ruler or a nation all right which at the time of the egyptians we found out that they they put brands on people all right at the time of the greeks who took after the egyptians we know that they put brands on people, all right? And Greek fraternities, what do they do to this day? All right, they, they, they brand you, all right? That is an oath that you're making to a god. In Rome, they use tattoos and branding. So as we're in a modern revival of the Greco-Roman beast system, okay, as the technology and knowledge has increased, what we're telling you is this very system, all right, of paying, you know, servitude, to your to your uh, ruler okay as we always go into and we we keep bringing these things out because it's all this it's the spirit <laughs> it's, it's the spirit right it's the spirit let's get galatians 6 to look up the word for stigma and child size stigma which ultimately goes into 666 in the book of uh revelation the uh, 13th chapter okay this word for marks stigma all right which when you deal with the uh, motb that b system uh is tied to a particular number chai size stigma 666 and stigma is a part of that the last six um is what a mark pricked or branded upon the body to or ancient oriental usage so that which is then is now okay so the motb all right, is a new thing. They never had this, you know, particular device to put in people. But the concept behind them bringing it, okay, is not new. This is an ancient custom, all right, of mark pricked or branded upon the body, all right, to ancient oriental usage. Slaves and soldiers bore the name or stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belonged to and there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with tokens to their gods okay a recognition of ownership see that recognition of ownership okay back to the the definition of haragma the mark branded up on horses all right and why do you brand animals all right, to have them on a database, to know who it belongs to, who's the owner. They carved, sculpture, graven work, adulterous image. Okay, and we know that this is an adulterous image or something physical because Acts 7 and 20, 17 and 29 says, For as much we then as the offspring of God, all right, we ought not to think of the Godhead, all right, that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven all right by art and man's device so this is what a physical thing haragma is a physical thing that john the revelator saw eventually forced on people but we know that what they use gradualism okay gradualism do you know what the term gradualism means let's look it up gradualism definition okay all right, a gradual, progressive, or slow method of action. Okay, let's go here, the definition of meaning. All right, the policy of approaching a desired end by gradual stages. All right, now we know how Esau, Edom operates through his policy. Speaking of Antiochus Epiphanes, he calls what? Craft to prosper in his hands. And by peace, he was able to destroy many. Just as the serpent was able to present that philosophy as peace, as a, as a, as a you know, giving you God-like capabilities. It's not that what the, the serpent told Eve, you will be as gods. And that's what they're promising you today with this whole transhumanism agenda. Okay? So, basically, they're approaching a desired end by gradual stages. Now, we see... Here, this situation where thousands are lining up because thousands of people are, are through. 
Okay, now you already have people putting the the uh, haragma in their right hand for the purpose of buying and selling. All right, but the aspect of the brain, the forehead is dealing with healing, which is going to play on the emotions of the people and make this whole agenda seem as though this is here to help people. This is the next step. All right, in healing. Okay. Thousands are lining up for the for this brain implant. Thousands of people, and this is off the of end time headlines, which is some good articles here, but of course, you know, the, I believe the dude is a small hat or pro small hat, so he puts a lot of propaganda when it comes to those small hats. He refuses to condemn what they do. Anyway, thousands of people have expressed interest in receiving all right, one of Neuralink's all right, brain, brain implants. Now, ironically, when you get here in Revelation 13, all right, their right hand or in their foreheads, the word for forehead is metapon, as you hear the, the term metaverse, all right? The, and, and ultimately, that's what they want to do. They want to change you, okay? Okay. Because they know that's where the Heavenly Father deals, all right, with men, mankind, okay? So so this devil <laughs> is um, really pushing forward with this plan. But as you see, they're systematically pushing this aspect of it, all right, out to the forefront. And this guy here is supposed to be against the status quo. He's supposed to be against particular things the, the, the elite are doing. But he's he's one of them. These devils are something else, man. Okay, he was supposed to, you know, buy, you know, Twitter for the purpose of, you know, allowing people to have free speech. But he, he turned it in, into an operation where basically it's the same damn thing. Okay. And it's only going to get worse. What you're going to find out is all of these devils who are supposed to be against and they, they play this left right paradigm to play on the emotions of people and to make you believe you have an actual voice, you know, that, that, that speaks for you. Okay. Neuralink, which was co-founded in 2016, has yet to implant its device in a human. Yeah, right. It's all kind of trials they do they and and they use all kind of monkeys um which they it came out the monkeys were dying left and right and he doesn't have to answer for that okay yet and still the this this the 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 this world and the people in it you christians are making a big deal about the israelites but esau edom has been on a reign of terror and still is up until this day so it says it is yet to implant his device in a human because they've been putting it in monkeys but we know that there's people already walking around with these things like you had particular s-h-o-o-t-e-r-s -O talking about they hear voices in their head a lot of these people are candidates of people chosen all right sleeper cells chosen all right and walking around with these devices in them all right programmed to do things that are gonna what give him the ability to say we need to what bring a solution okay Remember, this devil is more subtle than any other beast of the field. Okay? Human beings are likened unto beasts as well. We're just the highest form of beast. And he's the most subtle, wicked, and evil of, all right, all of the families of the earth. It says, uh, it has is yet to put the device in human, but aims to operate on 11 people next year. And over two, 22,000 by 2030, which is, is something about this number here, which, hey, the Lord is going to cut it short. You devils ain't going to make it to no damn 2030. I hope not. I pray to you. How about you? I'll shot not. All right. By then, it'll be people jumping off buildings as a challenge. All right. According to, to Vance, who said they, he visited the company's facilities 10 times over the course of the last three years, earlier this year, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration 
gave Neuralink approval to launch human trials of its device. All right, which Musk has described as a Fitbit in your skull. You see, and this is where it's going. And this is not the only company you hear about Musk because he's more of a popular guy. But there's literally hundreds of thousands, even millions of companies that are. This is the next wave. This is what they're getting ready to do. Okay, because what what you what, what you have to ask yourself why is the Food and Drug Administration all right dealing in technology? Why is all right Mr. Gil Bates okay all of a sudden he left Microsoft Micro Small Soft Software and became one who's over. All right, the uh, the the aspect of health. Well, you're you're living in a technocracy. And we've been telling you this. All right, gradually they've pretty much, and nobody's questioning these things. All right, you do have people rebelling and bringing these things up, but why all of a sudden, all right, is the subject of H E L T H. All right, health <laughs> being merged. Uh, with technology because these are the new healing practices okay not taking chemicals out of the food not uh, people changing their diets and healthier lifestyles and fixing the earth okay not you know taking all of these chemicals and things out of the air the water that are leading to all of these sicknesses not stopping uh, GMOs but technology, that will be how we save this mess we've created. Okay, and the powers that be are what? Passing legislation so that this eventually will be the standard, all right, of how human beings will be able to operate on the planet Earth. We just did a lesson yesterday showing you that, all right, digital IDs, digital currencies, all of these things are becoming a normal talking point because this is where it's going you just got to watch the devil that's why he puts all of these confused confused situations out there he put these you know, spirits jump on jake to get all crazy when literally the, the 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 focus should be on this guy esau edom now we address things we deal with things because that's just what we do that's a part of the duty of a prophet watching everything all right but the true enemy the true all right the, the one we're looking to go down all right, is Esau. He, he's the problem. He's the brains behind all of this. He's the nation of people the Lord is going to use to bring all of these things about. And the different heathen nations are on point with him. Even Putin, all right, which is going to be used to shoot missiles on Babylon. They're, they're going digital. Okay. In September, the company began recruiting its first human trial. All right. And it said in its blog post that it was looking for people who had paralysis. OK. Which um, is interesting when you deal with paralysis. Let's look this up real quick. I believe it deals with neurological issues. Which. um, Yep. Immobility, powerless, lack of sensation, numbness. OK. Which, why do people have all of these issues? All right? You got 10-year-olds with clots, heart issues. What, what's going on here? Why are people having all of these issues? So, again, he's able to, you know, create a situation, a problem, but then he's also able to give you the solution. But this was the, as you see here, palsy. The palsy, all right? And Yahweh Shai healed many that had the palsy. You see that? All right, let's see if we can find it in the scriptures. Boom. That's Yahweh Shai was healing many people with that, with these very neurological conditions back then. Okay? Palsy. So as we're in Rome all over again, people have these issues. So Esau is coming with his form of salvation strong's g 3885 paralutikas 
paralutikas. There you go. Suffering from the relaxing of one's nerves on one side. Disabled, weak limb. Okay. What causes palsy? Google is usually better here. Stress, sleep deprivation, physical trauma, minor illness, autoimmune syndrome. I'm pretty sure if you go into a diet, eventually it's going to come up you know, with certain chemicals and foods. And again, this is not health uh, information. We're just uh, going in the news. This is not medical advice or anything. We're just going in the news because that's what we do. We love the news. Right? The scriptures talks about how there's going to be, what, rumors. Rumors. Let's get Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51. And 45. My people go ye out of the midst of her. Repent. Okay? Get your expectation out of Babylon because this is where it's going. All right? And deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of Yahweh. Okay? Flee in Babylon and spiritually. Because if you're a demon, you, you, you just, and you fly to the Philippines. I'm going to be a passport bro, Israelite, and leave Babylon. Hey, which if I wasn't in the truth, I'd leave this place. But the, the Lord said, this is where we're going to be delivered from. It's going to be a great deliverance here. Because if you're a demon that's going to be destroyed, whether you in Babylon, all right, or whether you in Philippines, in the Philippines, your ass going to be destroyed. It said, unless your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year and after that year, another rumor shall come and then violence in the land and ruler against ruler. So these rumors are going to lead to the things really taking place. And the, the haragma has been a rumor. We've been doing the videos. The word rumor is shama why news report rumor. Report, news, tidings, mention. So we're fulfilling doctrine. We're fulfilling uh, prophecy. Doctrine, fame, mention, news, in the news. So when you when you hear that, when you see these news and prophecies, these videos brothers are doing, that's, we're fulfilling prophecy, man. Anyway, Yahweh Shai healed many of that condition back then. And pretty soon the Lord is going to give us the spirit to, to heal. Okay. Pretty soon, you know, but not everybody, because a lot of people who, you know, fall for this. All right. What does the scripture say? People who take this, because I mean, again, they're presenting this as, you know, again, for the, the purpose of, you know, health. But we know overall it's going to be a, a mass enslavement, man. Okay, and the people who fall for this eventually, okay, let's get the book of, uh, was it Revelation 16? Yep, Revelation 16 and uh, 2, it says, And the first went out and poured his vow upon the earth, and therefore it fell a noisome and grievous sore, Upon the men which had, all right, the the haragma of the beast, and upon them which worship his image. Because if you worship the image, which many of these people do, you eventually going to take that haragma. Even if you're against certain things, really, you want even the the, the so-called truthers. They want this system to just, you know, get better. You know, our call is for it to be destroyed. So a lot of people are eventually going to take this. Okay. But the word sore. So, you know, people who fall for this, put all of these, this juice in them or whatever, you know, and then take this. All right. A hell coast. All right. A wound producing a discharge, an ulcer, which cancer, C-A-N-C-E-R. That's ultimately going to be the end result of the people who, 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 who 
really go into this, who take this. It's gonna it's gonna be malfunctioning. All right, and you're gonna know. All right, you're gonna know that the men of the Lord. Let's get the book of. Uh, I believe it's um, Sirach 12. <laughs> yep. All right, which says, Never trust thine enemy. Sirach 12 and 12. Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. Meaning you, you make a league with him, an oath. Because that's what this whole thing is going to be centered around. You're going to have to make an oath. Lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith. To be pricked therewith. The word pricked means what? A small hole in something. A sharp point. Puncture. Stab. To pierce. In the charagma, ironically, The charagma, the root word of charagma is what? Karax. Boom. All right. From karak to sharpen to a point. The idea of scratching. So at the end of the day, all right, these devils are coming with it. Okay. Now I wanted to play this as well. Because ultimately, this is the, uh, you know, this is this is where it's going now. This is off uh, anonymous, and also too. <laughs> just check this title out. All right, when it's all, you know, pretty much as the scriptures say, the gold of Ophir. Let's get that real quick. Isaiah thirteen and twelve. It says, and I. Because those who don't bow the knee, all right, hey, though, there's going to be few real men left as this thing goes. And there's always going to be more women than men. But here it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even, all right, a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. All right, so you you start to hear, you know, these women, I ain't Isaiah 401 that's talking about your auntie, your mama. So your auntie, your mama, and your sister will be called by your name. No, that's speaking of women who's going to be joined to the men of the Lord. And seven is just a symbolic number. Okay, but as this thing goes, okay, the, the men of the Lord, all right, who are going to fall under this category, all right, because, the you know, you're going to have particular men who fight against this agenda and stuff and don't take, but eventually on some level they're going to bow. Okay. Or they're going to be put, you know, they're taken out. But as you can see here, women are looking for the unjuiced. So the men of the Lord, are be, uh, uh, as this world and as prophecy continues, the, the men of the Lord are going to be much more precious. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even all right, a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Gold was so, is so, all right, absolute precious. Uh, Christopher Columbus sailed, all right, across the world to get it. Okay, <laughs> gold. You know, but men are gonna be what? All right, even more precious. The word precious is what? Yakar. It's a nice Hebrew name. To esteem, to be prized, to be valued, precious, costly, be appraised. So the men of the Lord, all right, who are not gonna bow the knee to the image of Baal, all right. Are going to be precious. What's that? Isaiah 32. All right. And two, a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. And what man? The men of the Lord. And a cover and a cover from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place. So imagine you in a dry place, a desert, and you see a river of water pop up. Clean, glistening water. What would you, 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 would, you, would, you would thank the Lord, right? Well, that's how you, the men of the Lord are going to be through all of this. Imagine people with sores on them, dropping dead through, confused, perplexed. Then the men of the Lord shining 
wisdom, knowledge, and understanding having us rooted, healing people. All of that talk, you know, which is the American so-called black woman who knows she's an Israelite that's really making a whole big fuss about Isaiah 4 and 1. <laughs> Meanwhile, what do you think? Her, you think your husband just got one woman? Hey, man. <laughs> See, at the end of the day, when all of these things come to pass, survival instincts are going to kick in. And what nature is going to take its course, man. Just how you see, all right, the, 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 the male chicken got all of them women. The Palo Santo tree. For every one male Palo Santo tree, there's eight female Palo Santo trees. Nature is going to take its course. And this lie that Esau Edom has put out there, eventually, you know, is going to be wiped away. That's why I don't argue with women about stuff like this. Because when it's all said and done, the men of the Lord are going to be precious in that day. See that? More and more women looking to have babies are on the hunt for sperm, do sperm donors who didn't get the juice. See that? Now, with all of this stuff coming out, you got women lying. I ain't take the juice now because they know. Certain dudes are like, I, ain't, I don't want to deal with, you know. <laughs> you know, which, hey, may the Lord be with bros, you know, but I, I wouldn't, you know, I'd just leave it at that. But a serial sperm donor who has fathered more than dozens of children in two years noticed a massive increase in requests from sperm for, for from what? Unjuiced donors. All right. And the scriptures talks about women are going to be saved in childbearing. OK, when the Lord comes to deliver the remnant. Oh, see what, what you just tell women who talk all it. Just let prophecy come to pass. Just, we'll see, baby. We will see. Jeremiah 31 and 8. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth and with them the blind, the lame. The woman with child and her that travailed with child together, a great company shall return thither. They shall come weeping, and with supplications I will lead them and cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. All right, just imagine the women at the time of, you know, Noah, Shemham, and Japhet, how blessed they were to be paired with those men to, to make it onto the ark. Well, the, the men of the Lord are going to be looked at like this. And see, this is just on a small scale, you know. But as things get worse, a lot of men are going to fold. So, brothers, you, you having issues with women, just let prophecy come to pass. You're going to be sought out, all right, on a whole nother level, man. But um, I wanted to play this. Let's see if we got the, the, uh, the volume queued up. You heard me? affected by electromagnetic signals look at the remote control for your television for example and since you are an electromagnetic being what makes you a and that's what they're doing they're, they're, they're you know all of the stuff the juice you know stuff in it basically they're making you into a big gigantic antenna to be you know uh paired on some on this grid they're creating this digital grid assume for one moment that you could not be interfered with remotely via the electromagnetic soup that you're swimming in and i truly do believe that the entire transhumanist agenda is about control it's not about anything else it's not about enhancing the human experience it's not about improving human biology i think such incredible steps have been undertaken in order to limit the potential of human biology as it is really folks it's all about control that's what the whole transhumanist agenda is about. That's what the whole... And what, is, what does that word mean? Let's see here. transhumanism the belief or theory that the human race can evolve beyond its current physical and mental limitations 
especially by means of science and tech. Okay? See what they got on this website. See? It's a good website if you want to look up stuff. Technocracy.news You know? Yeah, I mean... So, yeah, th th that's what they're doing. Oh, electromagnetic control grid is all about. It's about control. And humankind is being controlled in so many ways, folks, very much biologically. Through the and you, we, we just, you know, went into uh, the, uh, the aspect of, um, oh, a, a, a global, you know, digital ID system. See? They're, they're pretty much transforming humanity, all right, to be acceptable for that system through everything that they're doing, even what they're putting in the foods. Introduction of genetically modified food. And don't think that this is not causing a real problem because it is. It's causing a huge problem for the species and not only for our species, but for all other species. This is how all pervasive this controlling mind is, folks. This is how psychopathic these people are. They literally believe that they can do better than creation itself they believe that mankind is the top of the universal food chain and even god can't come close to what we can do ourselves through through technology see that even god can't do all right what we can do through technology and see when you go back to genesis the third chapter that was kind of like the mindset of the serpent here all right genesis three and four after the lord told her through Adam, yeah, you will die if you eat of this. Okay, he was able to what? What did he say? Genesis 3 and 4, the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. For God know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and ye shall be as gods. See, ye shall be as gods. This is going to make you godlike, knowing good and evil. And we did. All right. See, he put the truth in a lie. You're not going to die, but you're going to be as God. Because ultimately, we had to go through this left hand, you know, fall experience. We had to witness, you know, all of the things we, you know, are undergoing in order to be able to, you know, fully be, you know, gods on earth. We had to see this world, you know, but there it is. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and pleasant to the eyes. So what they're presenting, it sounds good. It, you know, it's pleasant to the eyes. All right. It, it, it sounds like, you know, damn, they're, they're really the, because the world is so destroyed and messed up. That people are looking for solutions. The issue really is helping people see that and helping people see the system for what it is, which is a very difficult thing. It's a very difficult hurdle to overcome because people are very much programmed by the television, very much programmed by the education system. They're trained to think within a certain box. And if you offer them a suggestion of anything which doesn't fit within the parameters of that box, they very often simply dismiss it offhand as being impossible. And it's the same with the system of control because it's never mentioned on the television. It's never presented to them by reporters and by the mainstream media. Then they think it's impossible for such a system to exist. They don't see the media for what it is. They don't see the government for what it is. They really don't see reality for what it is. And the most significant part about it, of course, is they don't see themselves for what they are. Because it's when you truly discover yourself that all of the barriers break down. And for us, it's when we discovered that we were Israelites. You know, and we're able to, you know, through the Spirit to go into the volume of the book, you know, and, and, and figure out, you know, okay, this is fulfillment of, you know, uh, uh, what John the Revelator saw. You know, this is why Revelation... The 14th chapter is written as a new song going out, all right, condemning this wicked system, man. So it's a lot happening. It's a lot happening through the Holy Spirit, okay? Uh, this was uh, the Elder Ariala tapped in on this, all right? Chaos grips Australia as telecoms outage leaves millions without phone and internet access. See, as more of these chaotic events take place on Earth, as we told you, people are going to be looking for solutions, man. 
okay? And the solutions is going to be, you know, what they bring. And we know that's going to be what? You know, paired with really, you know, mass enslavement, man. Taking your rights away, having, you know, jurisdiction over everything in your body, where you go, what you eat, rationing food. All of this is coming. All right? But they had an outage. Okay, and millions of people without phone and internet access. When stuff like that starts to happen here and they start to blame it on T E R O or T E R R, I don't know how to spell that shit right now. The terrorists, man. Shit. So it's a goddamn shame we got to sit here and hide behind words and, you know, the, the juice. When, when, when the devil, he just gets to go on TV and, and, and these Christians just get to justify. You know, just, just slaughtering people. Anyway, check that out, all right? There's millions of people. When, that, when these things start happening here, which is coming, okay, the people are going to freak out. These vain Americans, the wealthy nation that dwells without care, okay? It's going to get bad. Let's read some of these uh, titles. Okay, you, you can just read that. I ain't, I'm, I'm not going to read it. You read it. But this is off of the peoplesvoice.tv. All right, very, very dope site. <laughs> Israeli plot to nuke Gaza sparks international concern. Thousands of Palestinian laborers in Israel have been murdered. CNN admits most Americans now hate Joe Biden. We told you. Australia introduces new law that will kill free speech and democracy. U.S. nuclear submarine sent to Middle East amid Iran tensions. It's going down, man. Olympic runner that runs with women, basically. My testicles don't make me less of a woman. I'm uh, okay. There will be no 2024 election. <laughs> hey. I, I can see that. Yeah, look at this. this. This is what the type of stuff that's coming. This is what they want. You know, they're going to have free reign to rule and control the world and confide you to a 15 minute city. What's up with this? Now you see why these devils try to put so much propaganda in the news and sway narratives because they got caught, man. They're getting there. They're out there. As the scriptures say, you Edomites have been made bare, man. All right. Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. He, sh he shall not be able to hide himself. There's too many platforms. This is why they're getting ready to do away with the Internet. Because the vow, man, let's get that real quick. This is the book of Job 17 and 8. Upright man shall be astonished at this. And the innocent shall stir himself up against the hypocrite. You you hypocrites. The people are stirring themselves up against you. Starting with the elect. All right. The vow person is no more being called liberal. Isaiah 32 and 5, the vow person shall no more be called liberal, nor the churl, which is an evil, brutal person, said to be bountiful. No, nobody's, nobody trusts you devils no more. Nobody trusts mainstream media. Okay? And you're, you're, the, you're the one, you're the boogeyman. You're the boogeyman. Oh, boy. Look at that one. People need to prepare for deadly mosquito-borne disease. Oh, boy. Parents will soon need a license to raise their own children. I can see that. <laughs> we got to get out of here, man. Millions of women desperately seeking unjuiced ball juice. All right? That's what they're seeking. Okay, and it's getting ready to be to a point. All you proud ass women, especially the Americans, really, 
The problem is really the Western woman of all nationalities. But Eve, the so-called black woman, leads the charge. But the bottom line is when this situation, you know, as, as you know, men start dying in wars. What's that scripture having? No helpers. <laughs> ball juice. It's going to be ball juice everywhere. Well. Yep. Uh, 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 second entry 16 and 33 in 32 the earth shall be laid waste the fields thereof shall wax old her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns because no man travel it through the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms the women shall mourn having no husbands the daughter shall mourn, having no helper. So at that point, men, the importance of men, okay, or being linked to a man of the Lord, okay, will be important. Having a man, okay, the, 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 the virgins are going to mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Because in the wars, their bridegrooms shall be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. But how about the ones that perish, you know, of those grievous sores? Associated with the, the, the with everything this devil is putting in people. Okay? They go start it's gonna be billions then. Okay? And just how y'all used to be in the club when brothers, you know, you go out, you try to grab the woman, she she looking straight like she didn't see you, stiff arm you know, don't touch me. That's how we're gonna be. Don't touch me. Get your goddamn hands off me. Okay. Then we gonna have the other women who down interview your ass, and we gonna be able to look through you. you now nah, she took the juice. Get your ass out of here. We be able to heal some of you. Hey man, hey the Lord is getting ready to give us all kind of power, man. And when it's all said and done, man, the order will be reestablished, the righteous order. Because this world and its philosophies and women have the opinion they have, men having the mindset they have, it don't work. It doesn't work. It needs to be replaced with a system of righteousness, man. Oh, boy, look at this one. That has to be interesting. Gill is what funding the deforestation of 70 million acres to reduce GW. God damn. Netting, netting, not a Jew defies all calls for ceasefire see and they're being applauded the, the, the whole world you know yeah we'll go into this probably add this to my next one because i want to do another one as well but take a chance and put this on youtube hey, lord willing it don't get taken down wow look at this look at this And people who didn't, you know, go back to the spirit world, they're through. I'm on my, my arm. I got tears. My one of my somebody I know. <laughs> I can't stop this tear coming out of my left eye. Oh, really? I wonder what that's all about. With McDonald's fries on her desk. Through. Now they're saying the next one go take out billions. Hey, man. So this devil is getting ready to come down with great rap. Though. I just wanted to touch on a few things. Um, oh, boy. Look at this shit. Hopefully I'll edify on to the next. Shalom.